guys aren't ready for this footage. It is not meant for mortal eyes! Look, Melvin, you're being a drama king, okay? You did not see what the rest of us saw. There was something in the water tank that the government is involved in. It's the aliens. Chad, I'm not finished yet. It's definitely the government. The government's probably working with Agent Peters somehow. Agent Peters is an officer, FBI. Maybe they're even working with Agent Ford. They're probably working with all the police people. Maybe the military. <gasps> Maybe they're building a super soldier. You know what? Yeah. Agent Ford told us that we can be regular people, normal YouTubers, okay? I'm done with the PZ killer, okay? We can be normal people, and if you guys don't want to do that, I'll make videos myself. Wait, Regina, slow down. Let me get this real quick, I'm, Daniel. I'm even, I'm even wearing your yellow shirt, Regina. Come on. Come on. What's up, Melvin? You must come with me. You're the only one I can trust. We gotta stop Regina. Yeah. You're a fighter. You'll believe me. You must come down to the basement. We're, go we're going to your gaming room? You're gonna, show you're, gonna you're gonna show me the footage? Yes. Okay. Oh, I haven't been down here for a while. Melvin, what's with your outfit, dude? It doesn't, it doesn't matter. This is the SD card that was inside the box. So wait, on this SD card, is the PZ killer? Yes, Chad. Melvin, why do we gotta figure out who this PZ killer is anyway? What's so important about them? Because whatever this thing is, was strong enough to defeat all of Project Zorgo and Agent Peters on September 4th. And you, man. Chad, it's an alien. What are we supposed to do about it? If we team up and fight it together, we don't stand a chance. It was you and like a hundred hackers didn't stand a chance. It doesn't matter who we think it is. There's proof right now in this SD card. Let's plug it in, plug it in. I want to see this PZ killer. Okay. All right, Melvin, hit play. It's another hacker holding the camera. Yeah. Quickly, quickly, get everybody to the W room, okay? Understood? Go, go. Whoa, what was that? Some kind of concussion or shock wave or. What? Oh my gosh. What was that? Oh my gosh. Chad. So now what do you think? It doesn't necessarily mean it's an alien. It could be someone who's really ripped and muscular. You didn't see what we saw. We crawled through that tunnel and we came to this tube. There was a hacker hooked up in this glass cylinder. Chad, you remember that hacker with a sledgehammer, AKA Sledge? How could I forget? He was trashing everything in that warehouse, almost chopped your head off. He's powerful. He has a super high power level, Chad. And he was taking it out like he didn't even have a chance for a one-liner. He was taken out like that? Like that, Chad. Come on, you gotta believe me now. I, what, what else, what else? You don't know what happened. Y'all just showed up after this, but you weren't in it. Let's keep looking at these files. Maybe there's something on these files that'll tell us for sure who the PC killer is. Yeah, the hacker was filming it. Dude, these files, these files are corrupted. Oh. This file seems like it's corrupted and it won't work, yes. but just change the extension to MP4. That usually works for me. It can't be that easy. Sometimes it works. Try it. MP4, double click, no, double. Okay. Oh my gosh, that did not work. We need to talk to a real hacker. I'm sorry, Melvin. I mean, you're a real hacker. You're just more of the fighting hacker types. You're not the hacking, hacking type, hacker type. You not, won't be mad if I call Regina? Uh, yeah, fine. She might know how to fix this SD card so we can find out what the PZ killer is or who it might be. It's ringing. Regina! I'm making videos. What do you want? This SD card's not working. It's got a bunch of corrupted files on it. What do we gotta do? Yeah, help out, sis, bro. Did Melvin mess something up? Did you mess something up on it? I don't think so. The files are corrupted, but one of them played. It was a video. The SD card was probably damaged in a power outage. If you give a small shock to the SD card, it could restore some of the function. What? Are you sure, Regina? Well, you have nothing else to try. Are you sure? Well, how much voltage do we give to it? It has to be small. Not much is needed for an SD card. Okay, so we gotta apply some voltage to it. Thanks, Regina. Ugh, I'm not helping you with any more of your stupid alien stuff. Bye. Hey. I mean, it is alien, but we it's just an SD card. We didn't say anything about aliens to her. She crazy. She crazier than me these days. She just wants nothing to do with this. Ever since Agent Ford said, guys, avoid this like crazy because this is dangerous and I'm out of here. We ain't scared. Yeah, I know a quick way to generate electricity, Chad, here. How? Look. Oh my gosh, you're rubbing your feet on the carpet. You're gonna create static electricity. All right, maybe this will work. Let me plug this in. I am electro. 
All right, touch the card, Melvin. Did you did you give it a shock? <sighs> did it work? Let's try. Still corrupted. You think we need more juice? I don't think rubbing your feet is enough voltage that Regina was referring to. No, you do it too. You have big feet. I think we need way more voltage than my big old feet. Okay. You know what they say about big feet? Big stun chucks. That has enough voltage to deliver. Yeah. Let's go! Uh, uh, all right, come on, Melvin. Uh, ouch. You okay? We need to find you a better gaming room that's not so deep. Yeah, it's a good workout. Great. We came up here because I know in Regina's room I've got one of my brand new transforming stealth sticks. Dun, 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 dun. Now available at Target.com and Walmart.com and Amazon too. There you go. Merry Christmas. Wow, a fresh package. Holy smokes. Fully charged and ready to go. Oh, cool. Hey, hey! Whoa. Okay, are you ready? Pull them out, that's gonna connect the batteries. Yeah! There we go, they're working! All right, let's give some voltage to that SD card. You got that SD card on you? Yeah! Okay, Melvin. I have a glove for insulation. It's pretty smart, so you don't get shocked. This has rubber grip, so I don't get shocked. Does leather resist against electricity, though? It's really good. I used to wear leather gloves all the time. I never got shocked wearing leather gloves. Hmm. Okay, if you say so, Melvin. Okay, Regina said just a tiny bit. Ready? Just gently touch it with the stud stick. All right, here we go. Oh! Dude! Melvin, what happened? Are you okay, dude? You okay? Ah! You okay? What happened? Leather doesn't insulate! I told you! You need a rubber glove! Like that, you need a rubber glove. Oh, why didn't you tell me this was here the whole time? I didn't, I didn't know that was there. Woo! Sorry, man. You think it worked, though? I think most of the electricity went through your body and not through the card. I think we gotta do it again with an insulated glove so that the electricity doesn't leave the card. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this will work this time. Maybe you should hold it out. I'm the stun chuck guy, okay? Three, two, one! Okay. You didn't get shocked, Melvin! I didn't get shocked. Science. So that means the electricity went into the card, not into your body. Well, let's just hope you put the right amount of voltage. I guess we'll find out. Yeah. Back down to the gaming room. Let's do it, John Travolta. Woo! Okay. Let's plug this baby in. Okay, I'm gonna double click on the file, see if it works. It's opening! No yes. way! Okay, here go goes. Regina. It's another video file, let's watch it. What is this? What are we looking at here? Dude, dude, see, this is exactly what I was talking about. This is that tank. Oh my gosh, I didn't see that. Climbed right out of there. Whatever that is. This is a, a first person perspective of the PZ killer? Wait, wait. The hacker clothes are in the tank. Is it. It's naked right now. <laughs> or does it need clothes? The, the hacker that you saw that was in the tube looked like a person, but. Maybe it was an alien. Dude, this thing is so fast! That's unhuman. I've never seen anything go that fast. No! This is creepy, dude! I don't, I don't like where this is going. <laughs> I know that sound. That's what I've been hearing in my dreams. It was one of the sounds I heard on the day of September 4th. You, so you heard that sound right before all the hackers got... I heard it during, before, after, and now. In my nightmares. This has got to be the PZ killer then. Why does it sound like that? What is that sound? Oh, wait. I got an idea. What? From when I used to record music. Did you ever hear about like, sometimes if you play a song backwards or if you play a song slowed down, there's secret messaging? Maybe there's something with this sound. There's some sort of secret messaging with it. Here, let me open up this program right here. Wow. Okay, so this is a program called Audition. It allows you to slow audio down, pitch it down, do all kinds of things. So let's try this. Let's see what we get. It's, maybe it's nothing. Okay, that didn't work. Let me try something a little different here. Try this. Whoa, you heard that, right? Let me, let, here, let me play it again. Listen very, very carefully. You can hear, like, through that.
that weird sound, you could hear like talking, right? He said the end is the beginning. You heard that, right? I'm not just going crazy, right? I heard it. It's making sense to me. I hear the screeches and, and I feel like I, I've known this. Ever since September 4th, I feel like I've been thinking this, Chad. What does that mean? The end is the beginning. You know what it could mean? What? What? What, are you, Chad, what are you searching for? Recently, the Pentagon has declassified information from the Navy about UFO sightings, Chad. What? The Navy! Uh, let me see. Pull it up. A government sanctioned exploration into the existence of unidentified flying objects. Look at this clip of this Whoa. Navy officer describing it. Yo, bro, what is that? And you see the sonar? The sonar blips? Wait, wait, this, this was really on the news? For real? Yes, and since then, there's been so many other sightings that have also been confirmed by other military strategists and key generals that have no reason to lie. You're right. You know, I did see some of the news footage of people, I think it was in the Navy, filming UFOs up in the sky. And it's not just the Navy and the government, Chad. Think of all the billionaires out there. Jeffrey Bezos and Elon Musk. Why are they going into space? They have all this money to try and expand the reaches of human hands out into places we never know. You know the origin of this SD card? A mountaintop, right? That you found? Which was inside a black box? Not the mountaintop, the SD card. The SD card inside the black box. Okay. We've seen that before. And that was... At the news station. Yes. And do you know the people that were there to try and take it? Men in suits. Uh-huh. If they're working with Agent Peters to try and do some kind of thing to the footage, whether it's the deleting it, restoring it, or or placing it under lock and key forever, then this is all linked under some kind of government conspiracy to hide the fact that the PZ killer is most likely, if not, is, or, an alien. So that must mean those men in suits are working at Area 51. It's, oh, it's always kind of felt like a conspiracy theory that only crazy people believed in, but it, it's starting to seem real now. Uh, who else has a strong power level enough? You guys at home, you always figure this stuff out before we do even. It's, it's like putting millions of minds together makes one super powerful brain. Check the comments. Okay. What are people saying on, on recent videos? These are some fresh comments here. From I am Sin. It says Perlita? We have not seen her in like nine million years. Nine million years? Do you think it was Perlita that took out you and all those hackers? She like, just seems too sweet to do that. Do you think she could beat you and hundreds of hackers in one day? Not in one day. Maybe eventually she can. Man, I don't, yeah, I don't think her power level is high enough. Okay, what else are the spy ninjas saying in the comments? Prince Aliyah saying gunting. Wow. Sorry if we screwed your name up. He thinks that PZ Leader beat all the hackers. But we defeated the PZ Leader on December 31st of last year. The PZ Leader was taken by Agent Peters. Yes. And was the guy in the tube or something, and they used the mask to download the memories into this thing and maybe got corrupted or didn't like what Agent Peters was doing and the PZ leader is back in the form of some kind of haunting ghost or whatever to take everybody out and exact vengeance. Oh my gosh, you think it's like the, the ghost of the PZ leader? Well, the ghosts. I don't really believe in I ghosts. I don't think so, but aliens though. No need to speculate. We'll know exactly who the killer is once we watch the rest of the videos on here. Let's do it. Okay, let's watch this final video file here. Oh! Password protected. <sighs> really? Who would have put the password on this? Okay, so so far all the video files have been from the warehouse. Agent Peter's warehouse. So he's probably the one who put a password on this, right? No, the second clip was from the perspective of the PZ killer. So it could be locked by the PZ killer. Yeah, but the PZ p killer probably picked one of the cameras up from Agent Peter's. So it's Agent Peter's footage. But they weren't the last ones to have this footage. It was uh, the men, men in, in suits. suits. Okay, okay, so one of those three put a password on this file. Oh gosh, that's so many different things to guess. I think it was Agent Peter. What would he do for his password? Probably a bad word, because he's the evil. Come on, come on, think. Let's put our heads together. We gotta figure out Agent Peter's password. What would he put his password? We have never ran into Agent Peter's where he didn't make fun of us. Okay, yes, he's, he's uh, like a bully. He's, uh, he, likes to, he likes to roast people and call them names. And the one nickname that he always calls us, Chad, Spy Losers. Losers. That's gotta be his password. Yes, we figured it out. Type that in. Spy Losers. Enter.
Well, maybe it's not Agent Peters. Maybe it's the PZ Killer. Okay. Did, did we just find out that the audio cue that... Uh, uh-huh. The end is the beginning? You think he would type that for his password? It was what he was writing in the Project Zorgo language in the warehouse. Yes. Ouroboros. Something like that? How do you spell that? Hey Siri, how do you spell Ouroboros? Ready, Melvin? O U R O B O R O S. This is it. Ah! It says there's only one more guess left before we're locked out permanently. This is not good. We wasted our first two guesses. We got one guess left. Oh! Hey, you see that? Yeah. Yeah, click on forgot password. Forgot. Duh. All right. Okay. Hey, password. Oh, security question. What has a head and a tail? but no body. That's, that was easy, Chad. It's hold a- on, hold on. Think of the Spy Ninjas at home a chance to type it down in the comments down below. They figure everything out because they're so smart, aren't you guys? Yes. Wait, you figured it out already? Yeah, and heads and tails. That's the easiest riddle ever. It's a coin. Hey, oh, 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 don't type it yet. Whoever doesn't want us to see these files would never come up with something that easy. Maybe it was the PC killer who wrote this password. What has the PC killer been leaving on the ground other than oral bars? Penny, a penny, two pennies. Oh! Not a coin, a penny. That's the password. It's gotta be. <laughs> well, hold on, let's not celebrate yet. Oh. Let's see if it actually works. This is our last chance. If we get this wrong, we're locked out of this file permanently. Well, you give me the camera, because I don't want the pressure of typing it in if I'm wrong. P-D-N-N-Y. Are you sure it's not plural? It says, what has a head and a tail, but no body? It's got to be singular. Yeah, interesting. Yes. OK, enter. Wait. If it's wrong, what are we gonna tell the rest of the spy ninjas? We'll say there's a file that was corrupted and we couldn't watch it. Okay, sure. <laughs> yeah! It was Penny! Chad, you are a genius level hacker. I'm just good at riddles. What can I say? Let's watch this video! Oh, great. Great. Play. Guys, you gotta kill that thing! Destroy it! Go, oh, go! Okay, I'm right there! Yeah. Oh, oh. took out Sledge like he was a, a rag doll or something. That was the last thing I remember on September 4th. What, do you, what did it look like to you? Did you see anything? Did you see a glimpse, Melvin? Did you see like arms or legs or a face? It looks exactly how my nightmare looks. I don't even know how Agent Peters made it out of there. I don't think he did make it out of there. He, I think he was captured by this thing and he was left at that cemetery. Remember the news footage? Right. If this PZ killer had something to do with Agent Peters, which has something to do with the men in suits. Agent Peters didn't want us to find out about this either. Chad. If we could get into Area 51, we could figure this whole thing out. Chad, you are like woke, woke, woke. We need to go to Area, Area 51. 51. But me and Daniel and Regina, they're not gonna be down for that, dude. We'll wait until they see this footage. 